Hi to another daily recap here at IPVC. I'm your host, Jonathan, and with me today are... Hi, I'm Dr. Stacey Sudengay. I'm an epidemiologist from Vanderbilt University Medical Center. Hi, I'm Dr. Dipanita Banerjee. I'm a GIN oncologist from All India Institute of Medical Sciences, New Delhi, India. It's been another totally packed day. Um, Stacey, tell me about some of your experiences here at IPVC so far. It's really been a great chance to come and meet colleagues again. It's been a while since we've seen them. Um, I'm really enjoying getting to not have a be on a Zoom screen and be able to hug and say hello and just really catch up with them and just see old friends and meet new people as well. I, in, uh, I started my session with a very interesting one. It was an early career session, uh, early career research where we on, can, could have uh, come forward, we meet and greet, and it was a very interactive session where all young early career researchers came. So we had a group discussion. We were split into three, four groups, and uh, there was some research question, how to face the research question, how to make it a very simple one, to, it's understandable and reproducible as well. So it was really nice. It was really, it started my day very, very beautifully. <laughs> That's wonderful. I think there's a lot of really great early career um, workshops going on yes. in the morning that um, I think a lot of people are really enjoying. I think attending. that's a, that's a very good highlight of this this whole conference. And as you said before, it's a it's a, a physical conference after a long time, especially after the pandemic. And so really, we are really enjoying it. Yeah, that's wonderful. So, um, Stacey, tell me about a session that you went to today. I went to the first plenary session where we looked at um, the speakers compared, you know, HPV to other diseases, infectious diseases that um, have been happening. So there was a session about or a speaker that uh, talked about hepatitis B. There was another one that spoke about HIV. And it was really informative because we know that, you know, HPV and HIV go really hand in hand. And so we can really learn from the successes um, that happen in HIV or in HPV and really kind of bring those two together so that we can have a big impact on HPV and HIV. Yeah, so HIV and HPV kind of you know, goes hand in hand. So it's like you know, it's a integration of all the ART centers or something like that. So after this WHO elimination strategy has been launched. So it is really important to all the world to come together. And especially the LMICs where I you know is the most the burden of the disease is, especially my country. My country uh, contributes around one fifth of the global burden of cervical cancer. So it's uh, really is the need of the hour. And I think it's uh, with the, the countries where have the high HIV prevalence. And this should be the focus of the, you know, uh, taking intervention and get the importance or the light priority setting and should be taken forward. And as well as the vaccination, there was good, good interaction and good sessions on HPV vaccination as well, Stacey. Yeah. Um. I went to another session. Uh, I focused mainly on public health today. So the first one was uh, looking at the, the vaccine and how that's had a, a big impact in several countries. I mean, we've seen lots of data showing that, you know, HPV prevalence is going down and that cervical precancers are also decreasing in those age cohorts that have received the vaccine compared to the older cohorts that maybe had not received the vaccine. So it was, it was a really interesting session to go to. Mm. And uh, how is the, yes, please. Yeah, you also um, went to posters today. Yes, yeah. the poster sessions were really interesting. You can see all the, you know, it's a, it's a global platform that the, all the researchers, early, early, mid, late career researchers all come forward. And it was like really interesting to see uh, many uh, good studies. I saw a study on, you know, it really grabbed my eye and its attention. It was like on uh, HPV prevalence on uh, connective tissue disorders the women who are suffering from connective tissue disorders uh, so this is a way how you know it's like the hpv research we can we can take it forward and what are the these this type of conferences are like you can interact you can you know, enhance your knowledge and uh, it gives you ideas about how to you know take your research forward or what what the research question should be like uh, so it's um, the other sessions, other poster session, poster, I, uh, there were there were lots, lots of poster session, I suppose. So um, the self vaginal self sampling, the artificial intelligence in cervical cancer screening. So 
uh, and how to this taking forward the HPV vaccination program in, as a school based approach and all. So it was really interesting. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, that's wonderful. It seems like it was very thought provoking and it's great because all of those colleagues are here that you can make those connections with yes. and really start thinking about how you can kind of merge your research programs and be able to work together for yes and the, the oral poster or the poster session in the other conferences uh, it's like uh, the poster is being there and you just go and roam around but there was a short oral presentations as well for the poster presenters so where you can interact with the poster presenter you can ask questions you can clear your doubts and uh, you know, you can um, take it forward from, from there, the, the, the study, how to, you can collaborate or not. So it's, it's really it's good. Yeah, and it's great too, because I think a lot of people uploaded their posters online. So yes. if you're not able to connect with them, you can always go onto that resource to try and, you know, make those connections and try and establish, you know, collaboration. Yeah, the posters free. are there on yeah. the uh, IPC virtual platform. That's great. Uh, and it's available for, I think, three months after the conference. Wonderful. Yeah, the, the sessions are being recorded too that we can yeah. go back to. Great. So is this open for the, all the all the IPVS registered for the, yeah, for the, done or for the members only? Um, I believe it's for the uh, registered delegates. Or the registered delegates. That's wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, Stacey, you, you also went to a session where they were talking about the different rollouts, right? Um, a couple of different uh, examples of rolling out um, vaccination. Right. So I think what um, the, there was definitely some COVID-19 impact on some of the school-based programs. So when those schools closed, obviously girls were not being vaccinated in those programs. And when they came back to school, they noticed that some parents were kind of hesitant to be vaccinating their children with HPV or COVID-19. But um, one of those studies was in Uganda, and I think they showed you know, how they could um, increase vaccination again and kind of get rid of the parent hesitancy. So it was good to see that even though you know, COVID-19 had a major impact worldwide on screening, on vaccination, it seems like we've come up with great ideas on how to get us back on track. On yes, yes. Yeah. So, so school-based program is very important, especially in the lemises, like many, many countries are it's, they have they have really success stories on implementing it as a school based program so yes did the covid-19 did hit the hpv vaccination as well as the screening coverage as well uh, but definitely the school based approach is like you know in uh, in lmis especially where the uh, you can, it's very easy to pick uh, those up or target just select the target age group and this implement it in society it's it's very important to do and go ahead with that school based approach and uh deepa you you went to the last plenary of the day <laughs> so you know to, to 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 wrap up our recap of the day you know tell us about the last plenary so one one uh, take away i would say from that plenary was like uh, beta hpv virus beta type alpha alpha virus is alpha type of, of hpv is responsible for all the cervical lesions and the B, other non alpha like beta hpv virus are mostly commonly seen in the squamous cell carcinomas of skin so so this this is really an unexplored area till now so yeah we need more and more data on that more and more you know, research work on that so uh, there are lots of lots of work we can do on HPV and its associated diseases because it's essentially not only cervix it's there are there is vulva the vagina the penile the anal the, so it's a lot of uh, local regional uh, area which is exposed to this virus and um, so a lot of work can be done so this type of platform is very good for you know come together you know, interact with each other, collaborate with each other and take it forward. And I think they showed some animal models too in that session. Yes. Nice. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. a good Much mix of clinical research, basic science. Yeah, so it's, a, it's an amalgamation of, you know, uh, the basic science, the clinical research, the public health specialists. So all can come together. Uh, otherwise, the doctors are only in the clinics. The public health personnel are only doing the public health. So it's a very, this, this type of conference is is very useful for the people who are interested in this uh, both public health as well as something giving back to the society thing. That's a recap of today. Thank you, uh, Stacey. Thank you, Deepa, for, for joining me here uh, in the little bit of after hours and sharing what you learned and uh, how the experience has been. And we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.